This tutorial is for 5th grade, Module 6, Lesson 7. In this lesson, we're going to look at patterns between points on a coordinate plane. The directions say to complete the chart, then plot the points on the coordinate plane. Our chart is showing different points, and it's giving the coordinate for the x-axis and the y-axis. To write them in the standard ordered pair form, we would put those in parentheses, separating them by a comma. So the second point would be at the ordered pair 2, 3, then we have 4, 5, and 6, 7. Now we're going to plot these points on the coordinate graph. So we'll start with 0, 1. So I'm starting at the origin. I'm not going over any units, but I am going up. So that would be that point. I'll mark them off as I go. Next, I need to do 2, 3. So I start at the 0, move over 2, and up 3. Next, I need to plot 4, 5. Go over 4, up 5. And finally, I need to plot 6, 7. So I'm going to go over 6 and up 7. The next directions say to use a straight edge to draw a line connecting these points. Here's my line. And now for part B, I'm going to look at each pair of numbers in the chart above and see what pattern there is between the X and Y coordinate. So in the first ordered pair, I have 0, 1. In the second one, I have 2, 3. In the third one, I have 4, 5, and then 6, 7. So in each case, the y coordinate is one more than the x coordinate. Now we're going to name two other points that are on this line. I'm just going to go along and I see that I have a point here. And if you notice, the ordered pair for that point is 3, 4. I go over 3 and up 4 and it follows that same pattern. The y coordinate is one more than the x coordinate. Let's do another one. I'm going to go over 8 and up 9. 8, 9 follows that pattern as well. The y-coordinate is one more than the x-coordinate. Now I have a new graph. On this one, you can see we have two lines already drawn. We have line A and line C. The directions say to give the coordinates for three points that are on line A. So I just need to follow along line A until I see where the line intersects a point on the graph. So let's go, let's try this one first. Okay, so to get to that point, I would go over 5 and up 5. So I'll write that down. And then I'll look for another one. I can choose this one. This time I'm going over 7, up 7. We can already see a pattern here. And let's choose one more. How about this one? This one we went over 11 and up 11. Part B says write a rule that describes the pattern between the x and y coordinates for the points on line A. So you can see that in line A, the x coordinates and the y coordinates are the same. Question C says what do you notice about the y coordinates of every point on line B. Well, line B, I didn't point out before, this is line B, so that's a horizontal line. And so the Y coordinate would be the second number for every point on that line. So if we look, just for an example, if I look at this point, to get there, I would go over two, up 13. If I choose another point, that one I would go over eight, up 13. So the pattern there is that the y coordinate will always be 13. And in the last section, I'm looking for missing coordinates for points that would fall on line C. Well, if I know the x coordinate, I could find the y coordinate. So if I start at the origin and move over to the 12, then I have to go up and see where line C crosses. And that would be at this point. So the y coordinate would then be 6. For the next point, I'm going to go over to the 6 and go up 
to where line C intersects and it's right on that six. So we didn't move any units, so that coordinate would be zero. Next, I don't know the x-axis, but I know that the y-axis is 13. So I'm going to go up to the 13 and see where C crosses that 13. And that would be right here. And that would be a 19 on the x-axis. And the next one, I'm going to go over 21 and go up until I get to line C. So if I go over to the 21 and go straight up, this point would be on line C, and that's a y-coordinate of 15. And one more. I don't know the x-coordinate, but the y-coordinate is 16. So I'll go up to 16 and see where line C crossed it, and that's right here. And I look straight down, and that's at... 22 on the x-axis. So that's how far we went over before we went up 16. Now you can look for a pattern here on these ordered pairs as well. If you notice the y-coordinate is always 6 less than the x-coordinate. 0 is 6 less than 6. 13 is 6 less than 19. 15 is 6 less than 21 and 16 is 6 less than 22. So there's lots of interesting patterns going on in this coordinate plane.